has cyber. Hello and welcome to Has Cyber Hands On Tutorials. In our previous video, we used the Nmap tool to scan for the services and also to know the open ports that were open on the target machine or the target computer. So let's check the services that were running on the victim's uh, computer. So as you can see, uh, we have various ports that were open and also the services the services that are running on the target computer and also the version of the services that are running on the target computer so um, we will be we will be exploiting all these services to to see how best we can get a shell or to get access onto the target computer so first of all we will, we will be targeting the FTP to see if we can we can put force it uh, so we'll be using a tool called Hydra to boot force the FTP to see if we can use those username and passwords that our dish that were in our dictionary to get access to this FTP service so um Let's use the Hydra tool. Okay, so so we are using the tool called Hydra, where the L is the switch for the users, and the P is the switch for the uh, passwords, and you can see the uh, our target IP and the service that we are targeting is the FTP which is uh, port 21 so we will, we will boot force it so as you can see uh, the Hydra is able to get us some login usernames and also password as well so uh, we have MSF admin um, we also have the password like MSF admin, so we'll try to use any of this uh, username and the password to to see if we can get access to the FTP. So FTP and the target IP. So as you can see, it's requesting us for the login name. So the login name. Let's try to use um, our user. This one, uh, this user, and requesting for a password. So password to use the user. Well, so as you can see, we 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 have uh, login successful here, which means that uh, this user name and or the login name and the password is valid so we can use that one to log on onto the FTP let's try other username and see if we can be able to log in let's try the uh, service FTP. Let IP. let's use this service as a login name and the password service as you can see, we, we are also successful, uh, login successful. So, Hydra was able to boot force the uh, FTP using our dictionary password and username. So, uh, when you also check the, the services, the FTP service, and the version, which is uh, VSFTPD, 2.3.4 so um, at this stage we will also try to use a tool called Metasprit which uh, has a lot of payloads that uh, we can use to also uh, have a system or get uh, access to a system so we will use uh, another tool called uh, Searchploit 
to see if we have any exploits uh, FTP exploits with this version which is the SFTPD 2.3.4 so let's use um, let me clear this one and let's use the search a search sprite uh, to find for a, a payload or uh, a sprite of, of uh, VSFTPD. So, as you can see, we have uh, this is that the sprite title and the parts that, that is located in our system. So, if if you can see we have this is the version that we we are looking for which is uh 2.3.4 sftpd 2.3.4 let's confirm from our so here you can see vsftpd 2.3.4 that is for the ftp on port 21 and the state also shows that it's open yes so uh since we have since we have this exploit in our database and we can use it we can use a tool called uh, methods to to stage this attack so um let me clear this one up and use msf console So our MSF console has started. So we will also search for the exploits. Search for VSFTPD. Great. So as you can see, we have an exploit there, and this is the location of the exploit. So um. As you can see, the description shows that uh, VSFTPD version 2.3.4, which is a backdoor command execution. So we will use a command, use, then we will copy this one on this export. So it, it tells us that no payload configured defaulting to cmd units interact so uh, we can also use this default uh, payload or we can also okay let me show you all the payload which is available under this so as you can see we have uh, there's only one payload that uh, is available here so let's set this payload so as you can see we, we have now set our payload to this CMD Unix uh, interact. Let me clear the screen. So, so we are using this exploit. It's a backdoor execution command. We we'll use the options show options. So the model options uh, gives us the R host, which is our remote host, and the R port, which is automatically or, or set automatically to port 21. We have port 21 here. Yes. So port 21 is set to us as default so we need to put in our, our host which is our target ip 
so we set it to um, so we've now set our, our host or our target IP let's use the show options to confirm what we've done so as you can see now uh, we've set our our host uh, remote host IP so we also have our payload set so now uh, what we have to do is to exploit the target uh, system to see if we can get a shell or access to the target system so we use the command uh, exploit or you can also use run so let's use the exploit so as you can see uh, So let's use run. As you can see, we have exploit completed, but no session was created, which means uh, it worked, but we were not, we didn't get the uh, a shell. So let's use a command called uh, run. So as you can see, we have a shell found. Yeah, so which means that this one worked perfectly for us so uh we are in the system already let's use the command who am i you can see that uh roots so we have admin access onto this computer so, so this shows that we're able to use the exploit to get access to the victim's uh, computer. Thank you for watching.